Hi everyone, this is Matthew with the Quarter Acre Homestead, and today I'm trying some computer repair. If you saw on my other channel a few years ago, I had a laptop that was about 8 years old, and it had some vertical lines across the screen, um, and so I, I figured out how to press on the screen in a certain spot and those would go away, and then I realized I could put a C-clamp on the side of the screen, and then the, the screen would work fine. So it's been a couple years I've been using the computer like that, and now I thought, well, let's see if we can actually fix the real problem. So let's go ahead and look at the computer, see if we can get this fixed. All right, so here's the computer. And there's the lines I was talking about. The C-clamp is a little bit loose. That's why the vertical lines are still there. So let me just adjust that. And there we have the screen working perfectly. So first thing I'm going to do is try to take the screen off. So I noticed there's a couple little covers here. And I'm guessing there's a screw underneath there. So there's a little Phillips screw. So I'm going to take both of those off and then see, I'm going to shut down the computer and we'll go from there. Alright, one word of caution, this fix actually did not work for me. Um, at one point it seemed like it was going to, but then it reverted back and actually ended up being worse than when I started. So please watch the whole video before you try this on your own. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery. And then let's open it back up. And I found out there's a few more screws that are hidden, so let me show you where they are here. They're under these little rubber rubber pieces, actually. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And then as well as those two that I already showed you. So I'll go ahead and take those off. You can just take those out with your fingernail real easily. See if we can remove this little keyboard bezel. What I'm trying to do is take the whole screen off eventually. Okay. Alright, then I'm going to unplug the screen. to get this screen edging to come off. Alright, so while you're trying to remove the screen edging, it's a little hard to get it started. So I discovered the easiest way is right up towards the top of the screen. If you can pry that open, there we go, and then work your way around the screen from that point. And just pop it all off. Alright, so we're getting pretty close here. I discovered this wide, um, <clears throat> wide straight screwdriver blade on my Swiss Army knife works pretty well to put in here and pry up, and it doesn't seem to scratch the plastic. It seems to pop it right off. <clears throat> All right, we're getting closer. So the next step, there's actually on the side here four screws we're going to remove and then also same thing on the other side of the screen so I will go ahead and remove those and then we'll actually be able to remove the screen and see what might be wrong
Alright, so we have all those screws removed. And if you remember, it was right over here I had the C-clamp to get the screen to work. So we're going to lift the screen out, see if we can see what might have been wrong. So it should just lift straight out real gently. Uh, looks like my power cord is holding me down a little bit here. Oh, you know what? There's one more screw right here. So let's take that one out, see if that helps us lift it up. Alright, so it was right over in here that the problem was. And I can't really see what it might have been. I don't see any problems. So I'll keep investigating here, see what I can find. Okay, so the only thing I can see is, if you look at these pieces of tape along the side here, this one, see how it, the tape goes almost all the way to the front edge of the screen? This one's a little bit less. This one's a lot less, like maybe it's loose. So I'm thinking maybe pull that tape up, tighten it as much as I can, maybe even put another piece of tape on there. And then probably what I'll do before I put this all back together. I'll just plug in the screen, put the battery in, power it on, see if it worked. Um, and then if it did, I'll put it all back together. Alright, so let's see if we can take this, loosen this piece of tape and tighten it up. That would be an easy fix if that's all it is. Alright, so there's something under that tape. I'm not sure what that does. Hmm. Alright, well let's see if we tighten this, if, it, if that'll help anything. Alright, that's quite a bit tighter. So I'm going to lay this back in, screw that ground wire or whatever it was back in, and plug it in, see what it does. These little screws are hard to work with. Not as hard as iPhone screws though, that's for sure. Those screws, you can hardly see them. Okay, so I got the battery back in, plugged in the screen, plugged in the power cord, now I'm going to start it up, hope that it worked. So let's see, I think this is the power button. Well, look at there. Looks to me like the screen's working, no C-clamp at all. Alright, 10-year-old laptop, good for another 10 years. So that piece of tape was the problem. So I hope this video helped. Hopefully you can fix your computer, whatever's going on with it. Um, be sure to check out my other videos. Check out our website at thequarteracrehomestead.com. We have lots of tips, um, frugal tips, gardening tips, uh, recipes, hypoallergenic recipes, lots of interesting stuff. So be sure to check us out, subscribe. Um, and what I'm going to do now is make sure that I reinforce that tape with another piece of tape. And then I'm going to put this computer back together. And I'm thinking about even installing Linux on it instead of Windows XP. Anyway, I will see you next time. Okay, just an update. After I thought it was fixed, the lines came back before I could shut down. And now I cannot get them to go away no matter what. <clears throat> I've tried playing with it, pressing over here where I had the C-clamp. Nothing works. So I did some Google searching and it looks like this is a common problem with Dell and Spirian 9300s. Um, so I probably can't get it fixed. So I think I'm just going to give up at this point. Um, if anybody has ideas how I can fix it, let me know. I could buy a replacement screen, but that's like $80, and it's probably not worth it on a 10-year-old laptop. So I'll probably keep it around. It would be possible to use it with an external monitor, but I think I'm going to give up trying to fix the screen for right now. All right, hope this video helped. See you next time.